apparently this is quite good. Let's just have a go at it anyway. Enjoys bodily autonomy and have rights that no individual or group may violate. Of course they do. Freedom to decide what they... Well, no, that because that means you can just have weed, so I don't really think that's really an idea. Well, in some cases, the other punishments could be less bad, but I don't think it's really a good idea. Yep. Actually, incitement to violence, but I don't think it includes that anyway. Certainly not. Nonsense. People don't need... I'd love to have it if the internet was free, but... Like, that's just ridiculous. Like, the internet's just a human invention. You've got no right to a human invention, because there was a point when it didn't even exist. Yes. No. Yeah, definitely. Just don't get involved. Uh, I think... Yeah, I, I don't know. I think it's just too easy to abuse it and pretend to be a religion, so yeah. I suppose so, to a certain extent. I mean, if you don't get any, but then, you know, normal things could become something to hide if you're in the Soviet Union, so. Nah. Humphrey from Yes Minister would disagree, but I think it's kind of necessary. Probably. Yeah, they should be secure, yeah. They don't know. Well, it would probably help them to solve crimes, but there's other ethical issues, so no. Of course it shouldn't. The government, the government shouldn't even consider those factors. No. Yes, it's nobody's business. Well, there's a certain point at which it would be unethical, so I think a certain amount of regulation just to make sure that it's in an early enough stage. So yeah. No, I think no man's an island though, so I think there are certain cases where it doesn't include that. No. Yeah. Oh dear me, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. It reminds me of a Fry and Laurie sketch, which I'll probably link to in the description, where they had a privatised police force. Quite funny, actually. No, I think we should allow bungee jumping. Probably to a certain extent in some cases, yeah. Relics of the past. No, they're an essential human right. No, the, the the law might not be perfect, but it is what it is, and it's the government's job to change it, not the random people's job, because they're probably less qualified than the entire electorate. Well, yeah, of course, somebody needs to decide. Uh, probably, because Norway is just far better. Well, yeah, you, you could hit random people for no reason. Yep. Mm, I'm not going to stay neutral on that one. It's, it's a lot of pros and cons and stuff. No. Yeah, you should be able to stop people from owning a gun in your house. Yeah, they probably should have some sort of regulation on it. Yep, definitely. No, it's none of their business, really. Yep. Hmm, that's an interesting one. I don't particularly like the idea of eminent domain, but it seems to exist for a good reason, so... Limits on profits, production mandates. Well, minimum wage is necessary, I suppose. Yes. Yeah, they do. It probably should, to be honest, the government. Uh, I think some Greek philosopher or something commented on this, like nobody cares about public stuff, so, yeah. Very similar to the previous question, but wildlife shouldn't be owned by a business, so yeah. <laughs> I think it does to a certain extent, yeah. Basically, do a bunch of random hippies with sticks, with signs on them, have more control than people actually making laws. No, actually making laws, oddly enough, have more control than a bunch of hippies. So that's complete nonsense. I think... I, no, I, th I, think, I think they're kind of not important. No, they're, they're too important to be left to the government and should be controlled by the market, would be a more correct statement. <laughs> they are. I think the market is usually better than the government and stuff like that. People are entitled to keep what they earn. They shouldn't be forced to do anything. Yes. No, raising taxes is usually a better idea. Because <laughs> the public services need stuff. Yeah, of course they should be free to choose. I don't want the government making me buy posh proper food when I just want cheap biscuits. Probably. Competition's always a good idea. No. Yeah. No, I don't think they... 
they, they are there for a reason. What? <laughs> Money should be abolished. <laughs> Way to kill off everybody. Don't think so. <laughs> yeah, they do. No. Mm, no, I, I'm going to stay neutral on that because there's, there's lots of pros and cons to the government helping things out. I don't really know. Yeah, they probably should, to be honest. Um, well, no, I think a certain amount of interference probably would help a bit. I think they should be required by law, no. No, not really. I think, yeah, there's a certain amount of bargaining, so it's on the on both parties' terms rather than one, because things being on both parties' terms is one of the essence of market, which includes the trade between work money, so it applies to workers and bosses. So, yeah, I think it's kind of important. Yeah, it should. Then again, higher education shouldn't, so... I'm just gonna stay neutral. Best provided by the free market. Well, Oxford and Cambridge probably were created by a free market, so... Yeah. No, the parents and guardians don't all have the same status, do they? <laughs> Health insurance companies are an absolute nightmare. America's just a mess. There shouldn't be such a thing as health insurance, but... Yeah, they should be free to choose if you still got that ridiculous, outdated system. It can be. And is often better, but... Not all of it, now. Yeah. Not all individuals will take responsibility. Well, people should take responsibility, but... Yeah, I think pension's a pretty good idea. That said, the age is having to be constantly increased just because of finances, so... Difficult problem. No, people too tight to bother. Tight fisted even. No. Nope. No, not really. <laughs> well, they would be obstructed from preserving security, but there's no doubt about that. But the question is, should is the obstruction that is created actually a good thing? Does it outweigh the negative effect of violating people's rights? I don't think it does. Well, no, but there's certain information that the gov people should not have. That's generally the idea, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. No, we don't need to get involved with other stuck countries. They can sort their own problems out, because it generally doesn't help. Anyway, Prime Directive from Star Trek type principle. Um, to a certain extent, but don't go around setting fire to Westminster, will you? No, they shouldn't, because it kind of benefits things. Well, not to be unreasonably constrained, but at the moment they're unreasonably unconstrained, so... A bit, yes, but not completely. No, it doesn't. It, it just doesn't help. I mean, it's funny, because generally the right is more keen on borders and free markets, and the left is more keen on free borders, but controlled markets, even though letting people across as workers is more of a market thing. It's almost contradicting their own ideology in certain instances. But I, I don't think you need to just let loads of people in just to be economically free. Of course they were. No, because an obligation upon others could be a violation of their rights. That said, parents have an obligation to look after their children, but apart from that, no, because that's just nonsense. Of course they shouldn't. Exactly, just let everyone do what they want, and then things should hopefully balance out a bit. Just don't need to tell them what to do. They'll work it out for themselves, hopefully. Yes, they do, as long as they're not completely insane. Then again, who gets to decide what insane means? Hmm. No. <laughs> of course they would. <laughs> That's... <laughs> there'd be anarchy. By definition. No, you don't need to try and replace the system. I mean, if you have a democracy, then there should be a party somewhere that respects it. Just vote for somebody, rather than attacking people. But you have a certain right, though, to do that kind of thing. No way. No. Six. Cultural minus 42. A liberal. Ah, well, there we are. This inch puts me on the right, though, which is... 
kind of interesting. So I'm a libertarian according to this, and this is supposedly more reliable than Compass, though the sensor's very ill-defined, but I think libertarian might be a, an interesting idea.